What is up, I have Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're gonna talk about how to eliminate bloating. Stay tuned. Now, before we start this whole video, I wanna explain one thing and I wanna dispel one notion. A lot of people just correlate bloating to water retention, and that's not true. By definition, bloating is the discomfort and the swelling of your belly region. But it doesn't just happen because of water. Water is part of it, but it's water, it's solid, and gas. It could be because of one of those three reasons that you actually feel bloated. And we're gonna tackle every single one of those and explain how to eliminate bloating based on those specific reasons. First, the common one, water, water retention. Now water retention happens because your body is holding onto water, that's what that is. Now ironically, not drinking water is what can cause water retention. So you wanna make sure to drink a lot of water. If you don't drink water, your body as a defense mechanism will hold onto water and you will see that reciprocated in your body, in your stomach area, even through your arms. It, it'll just hold on, it'll be between the cells, it will be within the glycogen and it can definitely cause bloating. Sodium can cause the bloating from water retention. So you wanna reduce your sodium intake as much as you can there are certain salts that you can take that can kind of act like a negative and a positive so that when it goes into your body it doesn't cause water retention and because sodium is kind of the main culprit water washes it out it can make you urinate the sodium out of your body so that it eliminates the bloating based off of that water retention sodium can cause it and not drinking enough water can cause water retention also does that affect your scale yes it does water retention affects your scale. So if you want to wash out water, you want to drink more water and also eliminate more salts. One other thing you want to do is watch your carb intake. What carbs can do is add bloating to you because it can also be a compounding effect uh, through the glycogen storage. Carbs can create glycogen all over your body and because glycogen loves to hold on to water, it's going to hold on to water in your body and create more bloating. You can find glycogen inside the muscle tissues and they tend to inflate with water. If you minimize carb intake and increase your protein intake, you will actually be eliminating one of the culprits for increasing bloating and you'll be taking protein which have nutrients that actually promote against bloating. If you're not a person that wants to drink so much water to release water, you can also drink foods that contain a lot of water. Stuff like grapefruit and watermelon, things like that that have a lot of water in it, it can act as your water substitute if you're just so inclined not to drink water. So that's an alternative to flush out the sodium and flush out the water that's being held in your body. And yes, alcohol does create dehydration and dehydration creates water retention. So yes, if you drink a lot of alcohol, you may increase bloating based off of the dehydration. And if you take a certain medications, unfortunately that can increase water retention based on what type of medication it is and how it affects your body. Now let's go ahead and move on to solids. Solids is basically food. This is a very simple one. All it is is if you eat so much food, then your body, your stomach will expand. It will expand to accommodate all that food. This is very, very common in people that do intermittent fasting because you are eating big amounts for a short period of time. Now, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. You will be bloated for a little bit of time as your body begins to digest and break down that food in your stomach. But once that process is complete, the bloating will stop. That is a scenario where the bloating is much, much more short term than the water retention scenario. The water retention, that can last a while if you don't snap the water retention. With the solids, all it is is if you eat so much, your body will expand to accommodate the food. Once it goes halfway through the digesting process, then your body will return back to normal. And let's move on to gas. Now this can happen with multiple things. You can eat a lot of foods that are high in fiber. Foods that are high in fiber has its benefits, but high fiber food can also produce a lot of gas in your stomach when you consume it. Try to eliminate some of the high fiber foods so that you can eliminate some of that gas or just understand that that's what's creating the bloating and then continue to eat it if, if 
if you like it's up to you but know that fiber foods does create gas in your stomach and that can create the bloating sensation that you're experiencing also swallowing air and gases now you're probably thinking to yourself you always swallow air what, what are you talking about you have two different intake pipes in your throat there's one for air and then there's one for actually digesting food the one for air is usually shut unless you're breathing that's how some people get food stuck in their windpipe if they breathe at the same time that they're swallowing and they breathe in the food into the wrong pipe which is the windpipe so you have two you have the normal one that goes through your, your throat into your stomach and then you have the one that's just for air and goes into your lungs now how do you swallow air well there's moments where you can create a scenario where you're consuming food and also breathing in at the same time uh, for example when you drink out of a straw when you drink out of a straw you're consuming the liquid but you're also breathing in to pull that liquid from the bottom of the straw into your mouth in this scenario you may actually take in some air into your belly area and if you do this for a long time if you multiply with other things uh, for example drinking soda have you ever noticed when you drank soda out of a straw that you became much more bloated than normal that's because not only are you drinking soda with a straw and you're creating that potential for air to go into your belly you're also taking in a carbonated drink and once that carbon dioxide hits your stomach it releases so it's actually carbon that that fizziness is actually the carbon dioxide and then the it's air pockets and then when it goes into your stomach that's when it releases so if you're doubling it up then you're adding more air to your stomach and that will cause bloating over time it will reduce but if you keep on adding to it you'll never get rid of the bloating the longer term culprit is water retention sodium those are the things that hold on for a longer period of time it can create a longer period of bloating shorter time frame bloating is solid foods that you actually intake and air air that you could actually take it to your body for those two things understand that it might be a case where it is what it is are you gonna just not drink out of a straw anymore are you just not going to eat a lot of foods especially if you're doing intermittent fasting but those two things quickly come out of your body and there isn't really anything to remedy it it remedies itself by just going away things like burping and passing gas will actually allow you to take out all that excess air that you have in your body and simply just digesting the food will release the solids that are in your stomach the one that you have much more control over however is the water retention one the one that everybody talks about i wanted to give you the three ways that you can become bloated so that you understand that it's not all water retention and sometimes you don't have to do the remedy that comes with water retention because you're only bloated from solids gas or air now bloating does affect your scale so as soon as you release all of that the water retention the air the gas you may see drastic changes in your scale and i don't want you to think that that meant that you lost body fat it could be a double illusion since you're seeing that you lost the little pop belly in the mirror as well as the scale dropping you may think to yourself oh man i lost a lot of body fat but in reality you just released either water or solids from your body so i want to thank all my patrons for my patreon and i'm gonna put their names right up here Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.